What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here. Welcome to After News Delight. So, um, let's talk about this uh, women's 400 meter uh, hurdle finals. And as expected, Fem Cabo won this very easily. And uh, there's no real surprise here. Basically, what I told y'all in the preview, the top three went like the way I expected. But there's someone that I would love to talk about in here. And uh, we'll go over that in a second. But uh, let's go over everyone who was in here. Let's just go over the start list. And then we'll go over the times. So uh, Fem Cabot was in here representing the Netherlands. Victoria Kachuk representing Ukraine. Her teammate Anna Rizakova also right next to it from Ukraine. Sarah Galigo from Spain. Emile Yule from Norway. Vivi Likinon. Uh, Likinen from Finland, Ayomide Folorozo from Italy, and Carolina Krasik was representing the homers in uh, Germany. So uh, these were the exact times. So Fim Cabol had a 52.67 in first place. Uh, now that was a new championship record. She broke a, it was a 12 year old record set by Natalia and too cool from Russia. Uh, that was back in two, uh, 2010 at the 2010 uh, European Championships. So that 52.67 breaks that 52.92. So uh, Femke Bowl didn't get under a 52. It was a uh, pretty cool night. So I, I, I started thinking that maybe getting under a 52 flat wasn't possible in this one. But uh, still, <laughs> anytime you could break a record, that's nothing to sleep on. Obviously, she has the European record of 52.03. Uh, I thought she was going to challenge that. Uh, she got that um, at the Olympics last year, but uh, still very nice score. And she was clearly way out in front of everyone else. So, for Fem Cabal, this is just easy work for her. Uh, let's go over the rest of the time series. So, for Victoria Kachuk, 54.30 in second place. She actually beat her teammate, Anna Rizakova. Now... I didn't see that for coming. I actually thought uh, Rizakova was definitely going to get second place. So for Kachuk to be here, that's a nice upset inside of the country. 54.86 for Anna Rizakova. So nice stuff there. The girl that we're going to talk about right after I go over these scores is the next one. Sarah Galigo. I was telling you about this 21-year-old. She got fourth place. And, and she was a 54.97. So she almost broke the podium, guys. Guys, if you're a 400 meter hurdle fan, keep an eye on Sarah Galigo. She got a chance to be very special, guys. I'm going to talk about her more in a, in a second. Uh, Amale uh, Yule was fifth for the 55.32. Lankanen uh, from Finland, she had a 55.58 and six. Uh, I thought Fola Ronzo would do a lot better than what she did. She had a 55.91 and seventh. Kind of disappointed with Fala Ronzo. I thought she would definitely do better. So, Ewell and Lankanen definitely did uh, a pretty good job coming in 5th and 6th. I, I think they did a pretty good job coming in 5th and 6th over uh, Fala Ronzo. Fala Ronzo actually could have been one of the ones to challenge for the podium. So, very disappointing performance for her. And last place, uh, in 8th, was the hometown hero, Krasik, Carolina Krasik with a 56.02. Now, back to Femke Bowl at the top. This was, like I said, this was a run for her where if we look at the splits here, um, we're going to open up the splits real quick. Um, if you see here in the last 200 meters, she started in really increasing her speed. She's, she does, she did this actually in a 400 meter flat too from what I noticed. Like she just starts increasing her speed as the race goes on. Now, I felt like she uh, definitely... Could have ran a lot harder, but like I said, it was cool outside. So I think that was one of the things that kept her from getting right to 52 flat. But um, like I said, anytime you get under a 53 flat in the 400 meter for hurdles, I mean, that's insane. Because that's rare territory that anybody really reaches. Uh, so amazing performance. She was way out in front of the field. Like I said, the upset was second place. Victoria Kachuk, man, I could not believe this. Victoria Kachuk beat Anna Rizikova. That was not expected guys that was not expected at all um uh, not that Rizikova was bad or anything but Rizikova had a 54.86 I mean she was right there she held off the youngster Sarah Galigo who we need to talk about right now this girl is going to be special world she won her uh heat in the semifinal first place 
Now she comes out here against world class runners and almost breaks the the Ukraine two three, uh, the two three right. So she almost broke that up and almost got on the podium. And the scores were very close, fifty four point ninety seven to fifty four point eighty six. She almost got in there, guys. She almost and this girl's only twenty one years old. She almost got in there, and that's why I told you I was I was definitely going to pay attention to her. Cause I want to see how she ran. I didn't even really expect her. I said maybe there's a possibility she's in. She ends up in the top five. Didn't really expect her to actually end up in the top five. Like literally in fourth, almost in third place. So she's definitely someone. If you don't know a lot about her, go look her up and definitely uh, keep an eye on her for future races because she's got a chance to be a regular um, participant, just like you've been seeing from Kachuk and Risa Kova all these years. I think she's got a chance to to be up there as well and i think she has 400 meter flat potential too so i expect her to move over to there as well but uh and, and you had a really nice race out of norway uh 55.32 getting in that top five position over um linking it so very good stuff there man but uh go ahead and get this video like y'all hit that like button for me share the video subscribe to the channel especially if you're new in the zoo any comments that i got definitely put up below and if you want to donate to the channel hit that super thanks button below i much uh, appreciate it guys so definitely good results all around here in the here in the 400 meter hurdles and for femco bowl double gold so she's got two gold medals one in the 400 meter flat and one in the 400 meter hurdles i cannot remember but i think that's the first time that's happened in her career that she uh double gold in both uh races um and she she's got a chance to do the triple uh, obviously, that Polish team, they're going to be formidable uh, in the 4x400. Uh, I think she's going to be in there. Let me let me do a quick check to make sure she is indeed going to be in there. I believe she said she will race if it's in the final because it's on a different day, too. So, I think she's going to be able to do it. Let me see if they got the start list up. Um, not yet. So, we'll find out closer to race time, which is around uh, 3 Eastern, like 3.45 Eastern time. Um, so Saturday afternoon, you'll be able to find out, but the, I expect the Polish team to actually win that, but we will see the Netherlands, they know how to do their thing. So I think Germany and Spain will have really good showings as well in that four by 400, but we'll talk about all of that later. Thank you guys for watching after news delight.